Hi there and welcome to this video tutorial. This is going to be a makeover tutorial and anybody who does any kinds of tutorials would not be complete if they didn't do makeover tutorials. Now, what do I know about it? I know what I learned from a gentleman named Ashley Riddell. That's what I know and this procedure is quite nice and it works very well. So, in any procedure that you do, you got to make a copy of your background layer. So you just do that and you got it. So we're going to use some channels and there's some interesting things about the channels. If you don't know anything about them, um, now you're going to learn something. Not an awful lot, but a bit. Okay, so if we cycle through these reds, greens, and blues, we can see some interesting thing. The red, nice. Hardly any blemishes, hardly any marks. Green, eh, a bit uglier. Blue, yeah, not very good. So we're going to use, we're going to take the information from this red channel and we're going to put it into our layers. Then we're going to do that by hitting Control or Command A to select all. Then we're going to do Control or Command C to copy. Then we're going to highlight this top one. And you got to do this. If you don't do this, you get all messed up. Get the whole RGB back. Now we're going to go over to Layers. And we're going to do Control Command V and paste it in. Ooh, isn't that nice? You could stop right there and say, what a great black and white shot. We're not going to do that, but you could. Um, to get the color back, we want to get some color back. We're going to go to Luminosity. There, ooh, nice. So, where are we now? This is where we started. This is where we are now. Now we're going to go back to the channels. And on this RGB channel here, this top one, if you hit the Control key and left click or tap with your pen, you get the Luminosity values selected. And you go back here make a layer mask or add a layer mask and there you go you've got it now let's see what that layer mask looks like when we take it off see if it makes a change so we're going to disable the layer mask yeah it does doesn't it and that's the luminosity values so that's really quite nice so far we could just stop there if we wanted to and say hey you know we've done fine that's our original this is this okay now if you want to do some fine tuning in this you can go to the opacity of that layer and you can fiddle with it or you can do control command L bring up the levels I'm getting lots of palettes in here aren't I and uh, mess around here so you can you can fiddle with the uh, with the levels as well there we go we've darkened it up a bit lighten it up whatever you want whatever is suits your your needs. So bring that one in a bit. Yeah, there's lots of adjustments. You can fine tune or you can really gross tune. So I'm not going to do anything. I kind of like it the way it is. Now the second part of this procedure is to add a new layer onto here. Now we want to take all these layers, crunch them all together and put it in there. So we're going to do that by doing Control A or Command A to copy all. Then we're going to go up into the uh, image or the edit section, copy merge. That's Shift Control or Command C. Now we're going to do Control Command V, and it puts it in here. So far, so good. Nothing has changed, but all this information is there. So I guess it's this and this all together. Now let's get on to the next thing. Now we're going to start fiddling with some filters. And I'm sorry this is dropping down, but it, that's the way it is. Gaussian blur. Now what we want to do is fiddle with this until we get nice smooth skin. Isn't that amazing? You can blur it right out, out of existence. Uh, let's put it at 18 and see what happens. Okay, it's smooth, no doubt about it. So we're not going to accept this, we're going to cancel it. But we remember that number, 18 is the number we use. Now we're going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And we're going to put in a value of 18 that we just had from the blur and say OK. Now that's plug ugly. It's, it's, you know, it's not very nice. But now we're going to sharpen that. We're going to go back to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to put in exactly one-third of that number we use for high pass, which is 18. One-third is, let's get out our calculators, 6. OK, 6. Boom. Hit 6. OK, it's still kind of ugly. Uh, let's do an invert. We're going to do a Control i command I. Now we're going to change the blending mode to overlay. Oh, starting to come along nicely, isn't it? Take that off. 
There we go. Put this one back on that we just did. And now we're going to add on another layer mask so we can do some painting if we want. And we're going to fill this with black. You can leave it white if you want and paint with black or you can fill it with black and paint with white. We're going to fill this with black by doing edit fill black. Eh, okay. So it's taken everything away that we just did. Now we're going to take our pen tool. I've got a nice big pen here. I got white as my foreground color as you can see here. Now I'm just going to start painting this in. And I'm using a a Wacom pen. Of course I'm using a Wacom pen. And uh, we get around all these different places. Let's move this layer out of here. And it, we can do just the face or we can do all the skin that's exposed. I guess there's a couple places you want to keep uh, un refined and that would be around the the eyes, eyebrows, probably the lips. And let's get this shoulder. And I'll show you what this really weird uh, layer mask looks like when I'm done here. Okay, so now we're just kind of smooth that skin out like crazy, aren't we? Uh, here's our layers palette. Now, if I alt, alt click, option click, I think it is on Max. This is what we've got. That's what our layer mask looks like right now. Go back here and there and we can continue our painting until we're happy with it. Now if you inadvertently go over the eye and blur it out ah, oh, ah, boo, what did I do? Just uh, hit the X key and that takes your your foreground color to black. Lower your uh, brush size and just get in the eye and paint it back in again. And there we go with the eyebrow, the eyebrow, uh, 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 across the lips, which I took away by mistake. Maybe this thing. There we go. So that's our finish. Now, like anything else, we can go and fiddle around with the opacity. If we don't like the way it was, we can fiddle with this. These are all the fine-tuning things. And this is just totally to taste, right? There's, there's no such thing as the perfect way to do this because with Photoshop you can arrive anywhere from anywhere by millions of different techniques. Uh, let's try a levels and see what happens. Oops, cancel that. Get over there. Okay, so now we've got some more fine-tuning we can do. We can move it around, we can lighten it up. If it gets too light you start seeing where the painting was done. No, it's too dark. If you get too dark, see? Now, doesn't that look odd? So you just find the place that you like. Find your happy place with this picture and select it. Okay? So there you go. Give this a try. It really is a fun technique to do, and it's really quick. You've got just two, 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 four layers here, and you're using some channels and uh, some filters. It's not terribly difficult. You don't have to be terribly artistic, but if you do have a tablet and a pen, life is much easier. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something here. I hope you give this a try. Come on over and visit my site. It's www.thegraphicstablet.com and that's the-graphics-tablet.com. And we'll see you on the next tutorial and I really do appreciate you watching. Thanks. Bye now.